Hi Blues fans, we're here from Mullen Blues in Aspel. Next to me is Dave Ikari. Dave, you finished your set. It was bloody hot in the, in the <laughs> tent, wasn't it? Yeah, I tell you what, I thought it was going to melt and just be a little puddle on the ground. It was, uh, it was fucking roasting, man. <laughs> you can hear clearly now that you're from Scotland. How come the Scotmans um, discovered the blues? Uh, oh, how did I discover it? Well, I'll tell you why. I went to the pub to drink and there was a guy playing electric blues one Sunday night. A guy called Big George. He's an absolute fucking legend in Glasgow. And uh, so Big George in the business got me into blues. And then that was electric blues. And then I started listening to, well, I got into Bob Dylan and, I, and stuff. And then I progressed on to listening to people like John Lee Hooker and then Sun House, Booker White. Started hearing some steel guitar. That shit, man, that got me. I, I want to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Taught yourself the, the music? Or you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only one finger. <laughs> hey, you're, you're um, solo on stage. Yeah. Um, depend, or, despite that, you have an excellent show with a lot of power in it. And if you've seen your eyes, they're really moving and <laughs> want to eat the people alive. Uh, <laughs> yeah. A little bit cross-eyed, maybe. Yes, <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> That's why I wear. <laughs> Never thought about a band or is uh, solo. The yeah, well, I have, I have a band called Radio Tones in Scotland, but uh, these, these guys don't play full time, so we only do two or three shows every year. And uh, but for my next album, uh, Dixie Frog are putting out a new album in uh, January, February, maybe next year. Okay. And we're re-recording some songs, and I have a bass player and a drummer in Finland. We're of all places. Of all places. What an obscure place. But my, the, the girl that books my gigs in Finland, her husband plays bass, and uh, there's a, a, a very well-known drummer in Finland, and he comes to my gigs, so we thought, hey, fuck, why not? Let, let's just... Who are your other inspirations in the blues, uh, despite from Big George, of course? Yeah, <laughs> Big George, the guy that got me into it. Um, Blind Willie Johnson. Blind Willie Johnson is, he's a fucking king, man. And uh, a, a lot of stuff that's not blues. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of country stuff, Hank Williams, Johnny Cash, and a lot of punk, a lot of rockabilly. I, I love 50s rock and roll. Um, so maybe a little bit of everything, but primarily a lot of the old Sun House, uh, uh, Book of White, uh, ev everybody from. How, no, how nice is the mainland for uh, an islander like you, the Scotchman, into the blues and the festivals, and uh, Europe, Germany, Belgium. Oh man, it's good coming here. <laughs> yeah, and the, the UK is okay. Scotland, there is not an awful, awful lot of gigs, but you know, it, the UK is okay. But when you come to France, Germany, Belgium, Holland, whoa, it's it's a different world. You, we have people like you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, because you're alone, mostly you're. Uh, uh, you don't make it to the main stage, and that just like here. Uh, yeah. Could you end a festival? I could try. Yeah. I mean, la last year I played at Glastonbury in the UK, which is a big, big, huge festival, and uh, the, the more space on the stage, the better. If there's five people, five thousand, fifty thousand, I'll fuck them all up. Yeah. Yeah, 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 man. <laughs> Does um, C6 Steve help you? Because he was alone again and he played Glastonbury and he has a breakthrough that was immense. Yeah, yeah I mean, he has opened a lot of doors. Um, I've been lucky enough to do two or three shows with him. And not only is he good on stage, he's a really nice guy. Yeah. He invited us to some stuff in London. And uh, he's made the kind of mainstream. So, so all the kids who think they don't like blues, you know, C6 Steve has made, hey, fucking come here. You will like this. And they, but he doesn't... He doesn't call himself blues, so, but he has opened a lot of doors for, for, for blues music in general, especially in the UK. A lot of kind of people who think they don't like it. What's the long future for Dave Akari? Your next CD next year? Next CD, yeah. Um, we've just done a licensing deal with Dixie Frog. Up until now I've done everything myself, it's been independent. We do our own bookings, we do everything fiercely independent. <laughs> But um, the guys from Dixie Frog have come to a few shows over the last year or two and they're keen to license some stuff. So Dixie Frog will do an album um, early next year and then uh, um, maybe another one on my own label later in the year. Whatever. And I hope to come back to Holland. <laughs> we hope so too. And when you're back, we're ready for you. And oh, cool. Thank you again. Dave. Thank you. <laughs>
Thank you.